Hello everyone. In geometry, I really like those problems which do not require a lot of formulas. You can do them using intuition, powerful geometric intuition, of course. This particular problem is like that. It's useful for kids in the middle school, grade 6 through 8. But of course, everyone can enjoy it. Let me just tell you what the problem is. There is a square ABCD whose side lengths are given to be 8 centimeters. So, for example, AB is 8 centimeter, BC is 8 centimeter, and so on. It's also given that AE, this little portion here, is one fourth of AB. So, of course, A is 2 centimeters. And similarly, BF is one fourth of BC. So, that's also 2 centimeters. And then they mark X. What is X? X is the intersection point of the diagonals or the center of the square. Our goal is to find out the area of X E B F, the shaded region. It's a very common type of problem. And there are variety of ways of doing this problem. I will show this interesting intuitive way of approaching this problem that you can use in other places as well. We use it in a particular section of our Math Olympiad program called the Carpet Strategy. It's a very beautiful strategy in geometry, especially in area problems. So what we will do is we will join BX and we will also join AX. Now there is something very nice about this triangle BFX and this triangle AX. Let me shade both of them. Can you tell me in the comment, maybe we can pause the video here and tell me in the comment, what is the relationship between these two triangles? There is a very beautiful relationship actually. You can rotate this triangle about X. You can rotate the triangle BFX so that it exactly fall, falls on AEX. You can rotate the triangle BFX so that it exactly falls on AEX. In the comment section, can you tell me what should be the angle of rotation? What should be the angle of rotation? Maybe you can tell me that in the comment section. If you don't want to use rotation, you can also observe that this one is 2 centimeters, this one is 2 centimeters. Both of them are equal. Similarly, AE is equal to BX. Both of them are half of the diagonal, so they are equal. And this angle is equal to this angle because both of them are half of 90 degree. So both of them are 45 degree, so they are equal. So therefore, these two triangles are actually congruent using a very popular rule of congruency. Can you tell me which rule of congruency can we use to show that these two triangles are congruent? Maybe you can put that in the comment. Okay, now that we have set it up, to find out the area of this shaded region, it's sufficient to find the area of this region. Because you can just cut this piece and place it on the top of here. So that's how you are carpeting the square or rather adjusting the carpet in a certain way. That's great. Because the area of this little triangle is very easy to find. It's one fourth of the area of the entire square. Right? So, area of this triangle AXB, which is equal to the area of BFXE, BFXE, and that is one fourth of the area of the square. Because, of course, if you draw the two diagonals, 
the square is split up into four equal triangles and this one is just one of them right and you know the area of the square the area of the square is 18 to 8 64 so can you give me the final answer in the comment section and uh, answer to other questions that I have asked in this particular video I have also put certain interesting links in the description uh, to some other problems some resources that you can use there is a free toolbox that you can use so there is a ton of resources at chinta.com that uh, students use all the time if you have your own ideas please share it in the comment section again and uh, keep on doing great mathematics I will see you in the next one